Hey, thanks for joining me. You might have seen this video here from probably the best MWZ content creator out there right now, Mr. Donuts himself. And this man is absolutely right. And some of the things that he said in this video are exactly some of the things we're implementing in our new Summer of Fun series that is kicking off today. We're implementing five of his examples that are gonna be a part of this series, but there's one thing, Donuts, that we're not gonna do. That's number nine. We're not gonna take a break. Oh no, no, no. We're just getting started. Let's go. A quick word from this video's paid sponsor, Messy Modding, their Call of Duty service company. They go in online camos for you, including Interstellar and Borealis. They have pre-made accounts, nuke surfaces, schematics, and more. Tons of reviews on Trustpilot. Use code COOL to save 5%. Use the link in the description down below. All right, now, Summer of Fun series, that's the best thing that I could come up with at the moment. If you got a better idea, please, by all means, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to consider it. And hey, we might even change the name of the series. I'm going to have this in its own dedicated playlist. You don't have to follow these along in order but hey some of the things that we're going to be doing we're going to be working on the camo grind we're going to be working on our stash we're going to be grinding up containment levels we're going to do some different things in the game and we're going to challenge ourselves and what i mean by challenge ourselves is whatever you give us if you got a challenge that you want to give us guns that you want us to use specific challenges that you want us to do in game i want to know about it let me know down in the comments We'll be happy to implement these into some episodes and we'll make sure we have a ton of fun for the rest of the summer until Black Ops 6 gets here. All right, everybody, welcome out. Check out this beautiful camo. We just unlocked this in the last match that we played on this account. It, oh my gosh, is that thing beautiful or what? So I got in all of this great stuff. So we are actually, we're gonna be making a whole lot of changes here. So as I talked about it in the intro, yeah, so Donuts is right. I mean, that was an awesome video that he put out. Um, it was one that I've been contemplating putting out for a bit, but you know, I never got it done. He beat me to it and he did a 10 times better job than I probably ever would have done. But he's right about one thing. And one of the directions I wanted to kind of take the channel as, you know, maybe things do feel a little bit stale in game and we got to do things to keep our interest inside of the game. So. One of the directions I was going to take it is I wanted to show you more gameplay, more of the day to day in the zombies. And I wanted to start grinding out. We need to melee this so we keep that beautiful camo. And one of the things that I wanted to do was get all of my, I think I have six operators and I want to get all of those operators to 1000 on their containment levels. And what's really awesome about it is I'm going to show you guys every single game as we progress through that. And I think that that is a decent amount of time that it's going to take us to complete those things. So from here until we complete, complete that goal. Now, if we die with an operator, then yeah, that means we are going to end up going back to, you know, restarting with it again. So... Oh man, these people already hit. So there's already somebody over here probably hit multiple of these triangles. You know, that's just annoying. Don't be an ass. Don't be that person. One triangle. That's enough. Don't be that person. Yep. Yeah, so going back to what I said, we're going to be showing you all of the gameplay and it's going to be mostly on cut and you're going to see all of the deaths and kind of all of the excitement and disappointments and whatever happens along the way. I'm going to be bringing you all for the ride and I want your opinions down below as well because I was also thinking about bringing you more than one video per day. Now this is something I've been tossing around in my head for a while. I have cut back a little bit on the content here recently so that I could put in more live streams on the channel. But you guys do tend to prefer the content like this where we just go in and we play and, you know, we just kind of have live commentary and stuff. And quite frankly, I can make these videos a whole lot quicker than I can make some certain other videos. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only video that you're ever going to get these style of videos, but I can make these relatively quickly. So my thinking is if you would like to see more content on the channel, that maybe we could bring you you know, as much as maybe two videos a day, 
like about every 12 hours or so, you know, we put out an episode. So I really, I really do want your feedback and your thoughts on that. You know, are you going to watch the videos? Um, things like that, because that's important because if you guys ain't watching the videos, well, then YouTube doesn't really like that very much. And they, uh, they don't promote the videos and the videos don't do well. And overall, that's just not a good thing for me or for the channel or for you guys that do enjoy the content. So we don't want to see, we don't want to see any downslides in the content. So I do want to, I, I do want to know if you guys are genuinely interested in where did you go? Mega abomination. If we explored that route and see how we did with the channel. So let me know, drop those comments. Look at that. We're going to kick this off with a legendary tool. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, the MWZ gods are smiling on us today. Hell yes. So I definitely need some more golden plates in my bag. I think this is my last golden plate. I can't craft any for like another 18 hours or so. Now these videos are going to be all of different varying lengths. Um, you know, we might be in game for 25 minutes and head to a dark ether. Uh, whatever we decide to do and explore in each individual game. Hey, and it's going to be on there. It's going to be there for you to enjoy. And I kind of hope, I hope you guys like it because well, it's what we got right now. I mean, if it proves to be unpopular, Hey, we'll do something else. One of the beautiful things about being a new content creator right now is I get to try new things right now. I get to test out different things with you guys, see how you feel about it, see how you react to it, see how everything does. You know, because I don't really have my own style yet. I'm still working on my style and what works best for all of you guys. It's a little bit of trial and error. It's all sorts of different things. So I have that freedom right now and we're going to take advantage of it and we are going to try different things. This is one idea that I've had and we'll see how it does. Um, we, we're going to run with it for a while, whether or not we do more than one video a day. Um, I do want to see some feedback on that. And if the feedback is, is pretty positive with, you know, us being interested in that, then I think we might give that a shot in, in post, you know, maybe a video every 12 hours or so. So we'll, uh, we'll see what your opinions are on that. But anyway, let's finish up this spore control and there we go. So yeah, the primary goal is going to be getting all of our operators to level a thousand, keeping up our stashes, all of those things and grinding out obsidian camos. We need more of these camos on more guns. So we're going to be grinding those out, at least on all of our favorite weapons. We need to get the obsidian on it. So I think, I think next, um, maybe the BP 50 with the conversion kit. I think might be the next one here. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I love that gun. So maybe we work on getting the obsidian for that next, but that's how we're going to entertain, entertain ourselves through the rest of this summer as we wait for black ops six to launch. So that's uh, why we're here. Let's do this orb. This is also something I don't see a lot of you doing. I don't see a lot of people doing these orbs and a lot of the the little side things in games like the etherness and the stronghold. It amazes me the amount of games that I play where I can just jump right over and go do the stronghold because nobody has done it. So, you know, there's, there's all these so these other little side missions in game, little side quests, you know, whatever you want to call these things. Um, lots of things to keep you entertained here in your, your stand. So take advantage of them. Do these orbs when you see them. Um, I mean, of course we want to do contracts because our overall goal is to get all of our operators to a thousand, but we also need to have fun in games. So it doesn't have to all be about grind the contracts, grind the contracts. Now I will say we're going to see a lot of the season one dark ether in this series. Uh, I don't expect me to go to any other dark ether very often at all. Um, just quite frankly, all the loot that I want. It's all in the, I don't know that we need any purple tools right now. I don't think that we do. So we're not going to pick that up, but we don't need any loot from the other ones. The only other good piece of loot that we are missing out on is the mag of holding. 
I mean, we can craft those every couple of days. And every once in a while, we'll jump over to that Dark Aether, probably with an Elder Sigil. So it at least gives us a chance to get the Golden Armor place and Aether Blades and things like that. But what we really need, and you, you all know that we need it to compete inside of your six stand here, is we need Scorchers. And the best way to get those Scorchers, not only the, I would say the Warlords, but every Warlord I've done here lately has given me nothing but a Ray Gun. Like, it has been disgustingly nothing but ray gun after ray gun after ray gun. And it's like, golly, is it ever going to end? And, and then I get a wonder wall. <laughs> but I certainly have not been getting any scorchers. And it's been very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's been extremely frustrating to just over and over and over. Now, we've done it a lot on our more cool whip account which if you're not familiar with it, we do that over on stream. And it's an account that we started brand spanking new. We spent $70 on a brand new copy of MWZ and we're grinding that out over on stream. And that's where I've done a lot of my warlords here lately. I haven't done a bunch of them on the main account. And I'm something that I'm curious about. And I don't know that I'm ever going to have a way to solidly test this. But I do feel like there is a drastic difference in the rewards that I get on this main account versus the rewards that I get on the secondary account. I feel like I get much better rewards on this main account. And I just kind of wonder if that matters like with your progression in the game. Maybe changes the algorithm a little bit about what loot it gives you. I, I honestly doubt if that's actually the case, um, but I'm just telling you what I feel between the difference between the two. I do feel like I get considerably better loot here. And did, how did I miss his face? Are you serious? Mr. Mega Abomination. I need you to laser, please. Thank you, sir. Keep lasering, keep lasering, keep lasering. A little bit more, buddy. A little bit more. Give me that eye. Let me see that eye. Oh, don't run into the rift, cool whip. Oh, man. I'd be like getting high on ketamine right there. Just taking yourself for a ride. There we go. An epic tool. Very nice. And dead shot. We already have it. Um, brain rot. We could do the brain rot. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, a sigil. We have a sigil already. Let's just take it. Why not? We'll take another sigil. It's nice to have them in the backpack. Especially in case you don't really get a chance to, um, yeah, do a lot of tier three contracts. Um, learn how to talk, cool whip. Um, yeah, if you don't get a chance to do a lot of tier three contracts, it's nice to have extra sigils, and that way you can just spawn into the game with a sigil. Oh, let's do that instead. Launch. Oh, let's do that bounty instead, though. I think that that'll be a lot more fun than that outlast. There we go. Get Scorchered on up here. Now, I don't think we're going to play a full match in this one. I think we're going to do some contracts here. We'll probably do these strongholds, maybe do another orb or two, and then we'll probably just head in to the Dark Aether and see what kind of loot we can come away with. But man, am I looking forward to grinding out some more of these obsidian campos. I really, I really truly am. All right, let's get down. Let's reload. Uh, reload. Let's hit this uh, ammo cache and re resupply our thermites. There we go. All right, kill you dead. Now we just need to blow off one of his heads right there. We got that. And then the next two, we can just take off with the thermites and it won't be an issue. So we're going to be, so we're implementing what, like two? two or three of donut strategies that, that he put out in his video. We're going to be working on our operator containment level. Actually, I guess four. We're going to be working on perfecting our stash. We are going to be doing different content in the game and playing a little bit differently. And what else? What am I missing? I feel like there's one more, like a more important one that I'm missing. Oh yeah, the, the camos. We're going to work on the camo grind. I thought about maybe doing the MW2 camo, but 
I, I don't think that that's going to be fun for me to just grind out for you guys because it requires a lot of just messing around at like Outlast and uh, X fills and those sort of things to just grind out a bunch of silly challenges and whatnot. So I think that just grinding out the obsidian camos on some of our best guns, that way we can just play the game like normally. There we go. Got him taken care of. We can just can. And I dropped a ray gun. That's amazing. And we didn't get a rift. We did not get a reward. How incredibly sad. Um, Treyarch or Sledgehammer, whoever's doing this game, if you don't mind sending that reward to me, you can send it in the mail. That's fine. I'll be looking out for it. You should have my address on file. All right, let's get this stronghold done. Oh my gosh, we put ourselves in a bad position. And that's why we got an energy mon. Get you out of every sticky situation. All right, let's get ourselves up top here. Do these bad boys. There we go. Do the two in the bathroom here. Perfect. Almost done. And just like that, we finished that stronghold. They can really be that fast and that easy. Now, I mean, granted, I do this a lot, so like I know where all of the cysts are, so that helps. I could do it without depth perception. Um, so that helps a ton. But I do want to do an outlast, though, before I think before this match is over, I definitely want to do an outlast. I want to see how cool this gun looks inside of those outlasts. If it's got like any kind of glowing effect or cool like reflection or anything like that on it. So um, that'll be cool to check out. We'll hopefully be able to grab one. Oh, a couple. Uh, we don't really need any more self revives. I'm going to take them, but we don't really need them. And I think we might for this series. We might even try to keep an all time down counter. Now, this is something I should be able to keep up with because it, it should be a whole lot easier to do when I'm just making videos than it is when we try to do it. Oh, geez, we almost killed ourselves. We, we almost had to add a down. But I think something like that might be kind of fun because this, this could be a lot of different episodes. Um, and I'll probably, I'll probably put these all in their own playlist and we'll just, we'll title them at the end, like episode one, episode two, or something along those lines. We'll do something that lets everybody just kind of follow along with how we're doing this. Not that any of these would ever really need to be watched in any particular order at all, um, because we're just going to be going in playing, grinding up containment levels and all of those sorts of things. So. You'll never have to watch these in order. So if you're catching one like later, like if you're watching, like, I mean, I guess you're not listening to me say this right now if you're watching episode three, but like if you're watching this one now and you want to skip a couple, go watch another episode. Yeah, by all means, go for it. They don't need to be watched in any particular order, but I will put them in their own playlist so that you can follow along with how the series is going if you like. And we'll grab that that other spore here so no i threw it too early so we can throw two of them on here and just finish this last oh no did we forget to pop one we did forget to pop assist oh no oh no 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 i i don't want to i don't want to add to the down counter right now oh my gosh let's not add to it yet um where did we forget one? Oh, this one back here okay there it is and while we're back here, let's grab the rest of our perks super quickly. We'll just perk a holic up. There we go. Kill off these couple zombies that are biting our ass here. Look at that. Another self revive. You know what game? We don't even need them. We don't need all these selfies, but we'll take them. Let's get launched up here. Do we have the other Ethan? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and do this stronghold. And then I'm going to be honest, we got a lot of essence. Um, we might try to see if we can grab an outlast contract or if maybe somebody's doing an outlast contract, we can just run up inside and just take a look or something. But, um, uh, let's start at the bottom. We started from the bottom. Now we're here. Um, I don't know how to rap. I don't know the song. I don't listen to rap. So I apologize for whatever I just may have done to offend any of you out there. 
Um, but any of you that watch the channel, you know that I will sing when I have no business singing and it's terrible and it's atrocious and nobody should have to listen to that. But you know, yet here we are. We're all listening to it. I'm going to lose my gas mask because I'm stuck in here. There's like a hundred zombies just funneling through this door. Holy moly, let me out! Let me out! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this is insane! No! We just lost it. If we didn't have that many... Where's... There it is. We could have saved our gas mask if we didn't have quite that many zombies on us. Holy crud! That was insane. Look at that. More self-revives. That is insane. Another legendary tool. Oh, baby, let's go. We'll replace the self-revive with that. Heck yes. Did we check this one? Yeah. Okay. I think we got them all. Oh, I was going to say get a little max ammo before we go, but we missed out on it. Um, I'm not seeing much. Let's go down here and see if these guys are doing an outlast right now. Um, they're actually leaving the area, so probably not. Oh, they are doing an outlast. Um, let's do a little inspect here. I, I'm not really seeing nothing special. That's fine. Not a big deal. Can't wait to grind out some more of those though, but we're going to go ahead and hit the buy station. Um, I think, and now I think what you're going to see me do a lot of times is we're only going to do probably two contracts a lot of times in the season one dark ether in order to save essence. And we don't have to buy all of those monkey bombs. And I think that that's might be, I think this game though, I think we're going to buy the monkeys. And two, four. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and buy the monkeys. So one, two, three, four, five, and six monkey bombs. Okay, stow that away. And then we have that and we'll buy. Oh, we don't need to buy a Casimir. We're equipped that single Casimir. And then we'll have four Casimirs, six monkey bombs. And that'll be plenty to get through. But I think one of my overall strategies with making sure we have loot and getting our cooldowns down so that we have good items to use because if we're going to be making a lot of these episodes we're going to want like good items right so um it, one of the ways to do that is to just exfil with as much essence as you possibly can and the best way to do that especially if you're going into the season three dark ether is to just not take all the monkey bombs and just do two of the contracts but whatever i'll see you in there we're going to do all three all right so let's go ahead kick on over here and we'll always start with the escort contract and that's just to get rid of all of the items that we bought and unfortunately we do not get to keep that awesome molten obsidian camo and it doesn't even have any any effect on this but we already knew that we knew we were going to lose it coming into here why why they can't patch that i'll never know They'll fix anything in a heartbeat. If it's if it's broken in the player's favor, man, they'll fix it so fast. But it, if it's not broken in the player's favor, man, they don't they don't care at all about fixing it. They'll they'll leave it there for months, maybe the lifetime of the game. Hell, you never know. I right, get away out of here, mimic. Very good. Um. Oh, that's a hellhound. That's a friendly. Um. I don't see anybody coming, so let's just go ahead and. Uh, Lock and load this bad boy, shall we? All right, just keep them off the back of the ACV. It shouldn't be a problem. Don't worry about the ones that we're going to run over. Those are fine. We just need to worry about the ones in the back. Oh, we do have a sentry gun. Let's use that. Oh, I hear a mimic. Get out of here, mimic. All right, perfect. Goodbye, Mimic. Hate Mimic. Hate them, hate them, hate them. Um, Alright, let's get this bad boy fired up. Get it down the street and see y'all later. Go beat up on somebody else's ACV. You are done here. Get the next one primed up, ready to go. 
Now, a lot of you ask me why I don't throw it here into this laser beam. I'm going to show you exactly why right now that I don't do that. Because that's about to explode right there. This has not moved yet. If they were all huddled right here, then they're all immediately right back on me. And you're not in great shape. So keep them down the road. Keep them out of your way. It, it really is the best way. It's one of those trust me bro situations, except I just... I just actually showed you why you should trust me, bro. Definitely the most efficient way of doing it. Man, I would like to finish episode one of this new kind of like major long form series of having no downs. I shouldn't say it right now because you know, we still got a whole dark ether to go here. But man, I would love it. It would be like an in your face moment to all of you if we get out of this without any downs. <laughs> Even though you all be down in the comments and be like, I think that was 15 downs, cool whip. Uh, Y'all always trying to add extra downs to my down counter. It ain't fair. Life ain't fair, cool whip. Oh boy, I know that. I know that just as well as just as well as a lot of people. Life is certainly not fair. All right, let's put down these last monkey bombs. Hopefully, we don't get bothered by this mega abomination. I got a feeling we're going to though. Oh, did we just get a nuke? Let's go. Nice. All right, now you're going to have some coming right up along the wall here. Get out of here. Did I see a Casimir? No, I didn't. You're blind, Cole Whip. This is exactly how these Dark Eaters are supposed to go, though. This is how, uh, a, this is how they used to always go. And then I'm pretty sure that they made some buffs to the zombies and to the spawns and how everything is. And now this is like, this is like the rare match. This is like one out of every 10 matches is this easy. I mean, not that this is easy. It's not, it's not easy, easy, but it's easier than some of the other games that we've played. All right, let's equip those. Get that mangler from beating on our machine here. And now once you do the two Casimirs, one or the two monkey bombs, one Casimir right in the front there should be enough. And then you can just fight off everything from the sides. And it should go ahead and launch off here in just a moment. And perfect, just like that. And then we'll start checking our locked rooms. We'll get this energy mine out here that'll take care of some of the stragglers there for us. And we got some golden plates out of it. Very nice. All right, let's see if we got anything in these locked rooms at all. Any goodies for me? No, nothing. Now, I'm really only interested in scorchers. I'm not really, I'm not interested in anything else really right now. There's, there's just no reason for me to be. I just need Scorchers to get around the map. And that's that's really it. So... If it's not a Scorch... If it's not at least the size of a Scorcher case, if it's not a Scorcher or a Wonder Waff, um, we're, we're not even going to go pick it up. We don't have a whole lot of need for VR-11s, Ray Guns, Wonder Waffs. I mean, maybe Ray Gun and Wonder Waffs because they are decent against the Warlords. But also, so is the Scorcher. So if we have the Scorcher, then we can do just fine against the Warlords, you know, with that as well. So, all right, we got ourselves an insta-kill and we're going to take advantage of that. I guess there's, there's no zombies up here. Like, this is crazy. We've gotten two legendary tools and like no zombies. How lucky are we? All right, let's see if we can do this and we'll 
pop this energy mine right there. Perfect. Trap them right in, lead them into our trap. And we'll scorch her up and out of here. And we will grab this bad boy right here to give us back our energy mine. Just like that. And we'll throw that energy mine again. And we'll overload this and we'll be done. Just like that. And we will throw a scorcher this way to get all those ones coming up the stairs. And what do we got? We got a dog bone, pack one crystal. Okay. Good enough. We're going to jump over the side. Check this room down here. And we got nothing in there. So we'll grab the insta kill. It's always good to have that key because if you don't find anything in that other room, you can just grab the insta kill and it lets you get out of that situation really without any issues. Oh my gosh. What do we got happening here? Oh my, there were a whole lot of them chasing us. Okay. All right, insta kills done. But I think we have like several Casimirs left. And we have a thermite here that we can throw down while we activate this. Perfect. That'll get any of them that come running in from behind. Um, yeah, we still have three Casimirs. And we're going to use one now. A lot of times right at the very start of this contract, you'll have you have a lot of zombies that come in. And then we'll take out the energy mine. We'll do that. Perfect. Man, I love it when everything goes your way in a match. Like we get all the good loot. We get decent zombie spawn rate that's not like over the top crazy that just overwhelms you. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed episode one, um, let me know down in the comments. Just uh, comment perfection down at the bottom. If you're still watching right now, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, it really does help promote everything we do on the channel. The algorithm loves it when you like the videos. So like the videos. And of course, if you're not subbed, we're all on our way to 5,000. Hey, we'd love to have you as a part of it. Join the Discord. Do all those great things. And just like that, we have finished this contract. And what do we got inside of here? Just to self-revive. Okay, so it hasn't been the greatest dark ether loot. There's nothing in there. We have one more locked room to check. And now also there is additional content here inside of these dark ether rifts that you can do. And maybe some of these episodes we will try to incorporate some of those, but no scorchers. There is an ether nest, which is kind of pointless to do, to be honest. But one thing that isn't quite so pointless to do, if you got a little bit of time and want to do it, Head on down to the beach down here. There's an orb and a mega abomination and give yourself a better chance of grabbing a legendary ether tool or even a flawless crystal or something good. But thanks for watching episode one. Let me know in the comments, you know, how many of these episodes you want to see. Do you want to see me double it up and do two of these a day? Do you just not want to see it at all? You know, let me know. Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Cool Whip and I'm out.